Hey, this is the Big Hardcore Gamer. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I beat the Karakuri boss fight. Um, this one did take me a few tries, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but it was like a very fun um, boss fight. Now, um, just like with most of the boss fights, I'm using the perfect parry a lot whenever I can because I want to try and get the um, retribution attack. Also, um, I am using the um, the uh, Tempest um, burst skill because I noticed something. When you activate it, you don't actually take any damage once activated. Um, and until it's completed and also you steal um some of your enemies health um at least once it's upgraded anyway this is such a cool boss design right so straight off uh, um, straight off to start with um it's an unblockable attack. Just jump up to avoid it. Don't try dashing out of the way because you will get hit. This is always a free um, hit attack. See what happened there? I, I, I dive back and got it. Yeah, but that, that was always free hit attack. So hit, roll, and then another hit. Which it does quite a few times. Hit. Oh. I mean, this time was a free hit attack. <laughs> yeah, hit, roll, another attack. As you see, that balance meter is going down nicely. It actually caught me there. I was in. I was in the middle of another attack when I saw the the blue circle um, come up. Right. So this is where it drops out those little minions. <laughs> they are annoying. Just try and avoid them. easier said than done sometimes but right so I switched to the mines to put to put them down so the little minions those little those little bot bastards will actually run into them and blow up whenever you see that um, the, that um, yellow circle pop up just remember rather than diving out of the way there's a good chance that it's gonna be the laser and you just have to jump up to avoid it it's only later on in the fight where she'll use um, a different laser, which you do just need to dive. Alright, so at this point I needed like to gain a bit of advantage, so I switched to my tacky skill. Again, you're not taking any damage when you're when, when you're using this, so so I switched to it just to give myself a bit of a breather. Just remember that most of its attacks are in freeze, so it's either the the hit, the roll followed by another hit, or the triple hit, uh, which is that one when usually um, uh, 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 overhead strike and then another side strike. Right, so what I was saying about the tempo, see look, I right, didn't take any damage and I also stole some of the health, so I'm back up to a full health bar now. Upgraded to a fourth hit that time. Now 
And you can see my burst skills is um, charged up. So yeah, this this was the one I was talking about. This is the one you need to dive out the way from. <laughs> but it only does that like late in the fight when it's losing. Switched to my Tempest, then take no damage, wiped out all the little minions, and stole some health back to a full health bar. Now it's just a case of finishing it off, and it's a wrap. Well, almost. I love the finishes for, for, <clears throat> for each of these boss fights. And now it's a wrap. Right, so I hope you found the video useful. Um, if you've been Lily. if you've been struggling with this Lily. fight, um, not guaranteeing that it's gonna help you, but this is how I beat the fight anyway. Um, if you found the video useful, please oh, leave it a like. Um, and if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and check out some oh, other content. Me. Thanks for watching. It was an Atiba ambush. I knew it. Well, are you all right? Yes, it was nothing. I'll give you the details on the way up.